I've noticed that non-believers, they don't understand the mind of a person that God is walking with. God is protecting. God called or chosen. They don't understand our boldness or how the righteous are as bold as a lion. We're not out here to do anyone no trouble, anyone no harm. We just want to reach people with the word of God. But then when people, physical bodies that are controlled by demons approach us, or at least me, with the nonsense. Now, I, was ra I wasn't raised by long green pastures. You know what I'm saying? I was raised around actual wolves. There's many wolves out here, right? You got people who are demonically possessed, generational curses, different types of forms of bondage, right? Slaves to sin. So if you're a slave to sin, you're doing things, murder, corruption, anything A to Z, incest, all that. You know what I mean? And when you see somebody else do it, you're going to say they're a real nigga for that? For killing somebody? Mistakenly hitting a kid? Oh, that's still a real nigga? And then you're going to hide them so they won't get locked up? But then you go out and, and point out a child of God and saying, oh, you're not walking right. What? That's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite, right? Bam. So back to the original um, topic, right? Now, I've approached several people who will pull up to my car and flash the likes. Look at the other videos. It's somewhere in the recent videos, maybe within the ten, last 10 videos. You know what I'm saying? They pull up, shine the lights, right? So it becomes a situation where it's like if a person needs to understand why do you have the faith you have because every time a person come to me talking about they gonna do this and that and the third i stand on my ground i face what you got going on talking they pull guns they did all this stop coming around and watching and do what you say you're gonna do you steady watching do what you say you're gonna do man because I'm standing on mine like I'm supposed to be. You come and play in the game with somebody who really believes in God and put their trust in Jesus Christ. <coughs> so if you're going to do that, be about it. But you got to understand, God is not going to leave because you circle around it. I'm not going to walk away from God. I'm not going to walk away from love. I want to go to heaven. You don't even come to mind. You don't even come to mind. We talking about the goodness of God. Not just how he protects you. He already got that. Just like a kid, you have a kid. You're not thinking about the protecting the kid. You're thinking about showing the kid, hey, look at that bird. Hey, there's something new right here. You're teaching it along the way. This what that is. That's what it is and everything, right? Same thing with God is working with you. Of course you protect it. The thing is, we got to get you to learn some things. When this person here in the spiritual world, controlled by demons. Now the protection comes in when the person can't do anything. They will try to conjure up a demon. There ain't no demon. God is not okay and Satan to dispatch the demon for you to do anything to me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's going to be like that the rest of my life. I can go out and get killed. When God gave the white robes to the saints up there, when they asked Christ, when are you going to avenge our bloods? When are you going to stop sending judgments on the earth and avenge our blood? He gave them white robes to say, hold on, because the saints on the, on the down there now who got to be killed, slain, just like you are. I could be one of them, but I'm not finna fit that. If I'm here after the rapture, I'm getting my head cut off for the name of Jesus Christ. 
So you got to understand the type of person you coming up to with the nonsense. Before you say, I'm not walking right, I'm definitely walking in peace. But when you come to me with that nonsense, what do you expect for me to do? The righteous are as bold as a lion. Harmless as doves, shrewd as snakes. Then when I put myself in positions like this, now nah, I'm a tough guy. I'm only doing that because God walked with me, right? But hold on. When I'm walking down the street, downtown or whatever the case may be, or just sitting in my car, <coughs> you come flash the lights on my car. Some type of scare tactic. I step out the car. Come on right here. Do your thing. Oh, but this is the outburst. Oh, this is anger. But God said... It's okay to be angry, but don't allow, don't let it allow you to sin. You know what I'm saying? What does a, a lion sound like? Listen in your mind. What does a lion sound like? If the righteous are as bold as a lion, what does a lion sound like? Did we forget? Do we need to go back to third grade? Think about it. My voice ain't even made for hollering. You know what I'm saying? It imitates my larynx when I raise my voice. But it's a good stress reliever, though. I'm recognizing now. You know what I'm saying? They some clowns, man. Straight up clowns. One guy last night pulled up to the car talking about he talking to his lady. Don't try to put your lady on that. You know good and well if you you, you talking about he, he talking about he trying to duck karma. Basically saying he killed people or something like that, right? I'm trying to duck karma. I'm trying to duck karma. You ain't got to face karma if you get your life to Jesus Christ. What you talking about karma? You you take your cast, cast your cares and worry on Jesus Christ because he cares for you. Yeah, take all that to God. And he going to use all that for his benefit, his will. You know what I'm saying? But if you going around flashing your headlights in people's car, you think you got some scabby type of dude or something, man? You got to twist it because you would never come by yourself without a gun or a knife. You know what I'm saying? You would never do that. You know, I'm not the toughest guy out here. But I understand who I am and who my father is. I understand who you are and who your father is. We can't walk together unless we agree. We would never agree. We would never agree. My feet is shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. But I'm but Satan comes to steal your joy, right? Okay then. So once you get once you want to take once you wanna decide to uh, 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 take accountability for what you doing if I was to do you the same way but then you will move differently too right you born in sin you, you, you enslaved to sin what are you going to do you're going to pull your pistol and shoot if it, if it wasn't a such thing as God protecting me but it's only going to be black people that you shoot down let's be honest with that you only going to shoot and kill black people man you're not going to no mob, no no other mafia doing nothing. Are you gonna sit your goop? You gonna sit down, right? Let's be honest with it. So you think you are gonna come and try to pick on me? Nigga, you gotta be you out your mind, dog. I can't speak like this in public in the grocery stores, in the gyms or whatever, because I'm spending my money there, and then I look different. But you come here, then I, we gonna holler like men. We gonna holler straight like men. But hold on. I got the upper hand, though. You ain't got the upper hand. I got the upper hand. Because you walking with some false, some demons that's going to disappear when my angels show up. The angels God sent with me to protect me, to keep me in all my ways. That's I dash my foot against the stone. What I'm supposed to just lower that down, walk away from that, just to be on some street stuff with you? You got to be crazy, man. I'm telling you about the love of God. On how God will keep you. Those who put their trust in Jesus Christ will get saved every time. I'm not gonna stoop to your level. No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come at you correct, and then now you driving off now. But time out, you ain't scared. Oh, you just seen my angel pop up 
And then now you ain't scared now, but why you steady riding off? Come talk like a man. You want to pull up to my car, right? Come talk like a man. That's what I'm saying. Boy, I, I tell you, boy, I'm finna start embarrassing y'all, man. I'm finna start embarrassing y'all, man. This car go out of commission. I get back on this train. I'm going to start back embarrassing y'all with the word of God. Showing you how weak you really are. And if you and, 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 and if it's meant for you to be convicted in the spirit, you're going to be convicted in the spirit. And right then and there, you're going to confess that Jesus is Lord. Because you're going to come up with the faith you need to understand the reason why I'm able to be as bold as I am because... I'm walking the righteous lifestyle. I am a saint. I know who I am. Right? And when God come back, he coming for his holy people. The people that's been generated. Understand what I'm saying? Gonna rise up. And if the righteous scarcely make it, you know what I'm saying? Man, look at here, man. What you think gonna happen with the unrighteous? They, they all around. They can't do nothing. Terrified. Terrified. The name of Jesus Christ, man, make the old, all those demons shake. You know what I'm saying? They try their best to take you out of your peace, right? You know what I'm saying? But the the mind frame that I have is I cannot stand evil. I hate evil. I hate evil people, man. I can't stand it. You know what I'm saying? You want to sit there and lie yourself to be used for evil, but don't get mad when I come up to you bold as a lion. Don't get mad at that. You made, you made your bed, now lay there. You know God ain't taking it. I'm a child of God. You think I'm supposed to sit there? No, he told me to abhor what is evil. That means hate what is evil. Love what is good. You sitting there picking on somebody that can't defend themselves? That's when I step in. Man, hold on. Fall back, man. No, 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 no. Fall back, man. You over there allowing third graders to walk down the runway with drag queens? No, fall back, man. We ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? No, we ain't doing that. You may be able to do it over there, but when I walk in... I'm walking in as the ambassador for Christ. No, that kid got to come over here. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, we ain't going. No, nah, we ain't doing that. Not today. It's all peace with me. It's all love with me. You know what I'm saying? But you can't expect to have a premeditated thought, a murder, a harm in me. Due to whatever demonic presence is in your life, and expect for me to be scared of you. As if I don't know who I am. That's why it'll never go right. It'll never go right. You thinking I'm some type of goofy, some scary type of dude, man? Look how long I've been doing these videos in the dark. Come on, man. And you and you you, you swear it down, I'm scared of you. You can walk with a werewolf, snake around your neck, gargoyles all around you. But when it comes to the power of God and the spirit realm, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. They see that, they know what's going on. You may not even may not be able to see that, but you better get your knowledge up about God. Oh God, how he fights for his people. So I thought, I'm, I, I, I'm, he, he did give me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. He didn't give me a spirit of fear. Imagine having uh, a kingpin, mafia boss as your dad, and he find out you walking the earth scared of somebody. That's a slap in the face. You know what I'm saying? That's very disrespectful to him because all the work that they put in on the evil side, 
you sitting there walking around scared of somebody. Oh, you got somebody following you, this, that, and the third. All you got to do is tell and tell your dad what's going on. As a matter of fact, he already got security following you everywhere you go. You just don't even know it because he loved you so much that he got to keep you protected at all times, even when you don't know it. So when it comes to God, God is a jealous God of heaven and earth. He's a jealous God. So you, you mean to tell me you're going to walk the earth scatter somebody and fear somebody? That means you ain't in fear, fear the Lord. That means you can't go out and do God's work because you scatter somebody. Let me find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like, what? Let, let, let me find out, man. He, he over there scared of somebody. Irritate, man. Peace.